you told him, this was right before GPT-5 came out, that GPT-5 is smarter than us in almost every way. I, I thought that that was the definition of AGI. Does, is that, isn't that AGI? And, and if not, has the term become somewhat meaningless? These models are clearly extremely smart on a sort of raw horsepower basis. You know, there's all this stuff on the last couple of days about GPT-5.2 as an IQ of 147 or 144 or 151 or whatever it is. It's like, you know, depending on whose test, it's like it's some high number. And you have like a lot of experts in their field saying it can do these amazing things and it's like contributing. It's making it more effective. You have the GDP valve things we talked about. One thing you don't have is the ability for the model to not be able to do something today, realize it can't go off and figure out how to learn to get good at that thing, learn to understand it. And when you come back the next day, it gets it right. And that kind of continuous learning, like toddlers can do it. It does seem to me like an important part of what we need to build. Now, can you have something that most people would consider an AGI without that? I would say clear. I mean, there's a lot of people that would say we're at AGI with our current models. I think almost everyone would agree that if we were at the current level of intelligence and had that other thing, it would clearly be very AGI-like. But maybe most of the world will say okay fine even without that like it's doing most knowledge tasks that matter uh, smarter than us and mo most of us in most ways we're at agi you know it's discovering small pieces of new science we're at agi what i think this means is that the term although it's been very hard for all of us to stop using is very underdefined i i have a i have a, a candidate like one thing i would love so we got around with agi we never define that that you know the new term everyone's focused about is when we get to super intelligence so my proposal is that we agree that you know agi kind of went whooshing by it was didn't change the world that much I mean, it will in the long term but okay fine we've built agis at some point you know we're in this like fuzzy period where some people think we have and some people think we have and more people will think we have and and then we'll say okay what's next uh, a candidate definition for super intelligence is when a system can do a better job being president of the united states ceo of a major company you know running a very large scientific lab than any person can even with the assistance of AI. I think this was an interesting thing about what happened with chess, where chess got, it could be humans. I remember this very vividly, a uh, deep blue thing. And then there was a period of time where a human and the AI together were better than an AI by itself. And then the person was just making it worse. And the smartest thing was the unaided AI that didn't have the human like not understanding its, its great intelligence.